This video is to educate merchants on how to use Register Lite on their Dejowoo payment terminals. If this feature is not enabled for your TPN, please contact your agent and ask them to enable it for you. In this video, we'll cover how to set up and configure inventory settings using the merchant account. And, how this works on the payment terminal. So let's get started. First, log into the iPospays portal using a merchant account. Click on Inventory. Select a store from the drop-down menu. It is important to note that you can only set a fixed fee from edit parameters on the iPospays portal. The percentage fee and tax set here don't apply to Register Lite. They are specifically for standalone payment terminal transactions. For Register Lite, you can configure the fee percentage and tax in the inventory settings. To do this, click here. Register Lite supports all fee types. However, if you choose True Cash Discount, make sure to set Card as the default price entry mode. For every other fee type, set it as Cash. Depending on the price entry mode, the setup process will change. Let's see the setup process when choosing Cash as the default price entry mode. Enter the markup rate for the card price. To set the tax percentage, click on Taxes. Enter a custom name for the tax. Enter the tax percentage and specify whether it's a state or local tax. You can add another tax by clicking on the plus icon here. For instance, designate one as the state tax and the other as the local tax. Click save for the changes to take effect. Next, you need to add items to the inventory. To do this, click on add item. Enter the product name and product code. When you enter the cash price of the product, the system will automatically calculate the card price. You can choose the tax. Add a description of the product. Choose a suitable unit of measure from the drop-down menu. And finally, choose a commodity code from the drop-down menu. You can click save here or click here to add another item. Now, the setup process if you choose card as the default price entry mode is different. For example, when you enter the card price, the system will automatically calculate the discounted cash price. Aside from this, the setup process is the same for both price entry modes. Now that we have set up and configured the inventory settings, let's see how this reflects on a payment terminal. From the payment screen, click on the cart icon to access Register Lite. Any item that was added to the inventory from the merchant account of the iPospays portal will be displayed here. If you have added more items in the portal, click on Refresh and the inventory will be automatically updated here as well. Additionally, you also have the option to add items from the payment terminal. To do this, click here and choose Add Item. Enter the product name. If you wish, you can scan the barcode from the product to get the product code. Or you can just enter them manually. You can even customize the product description. If you chose cash as the default price entry mode in the portal, based on the entered cash price the system will calculate the card price. If you chose card as the default price entry mode, Based on the entered card price, the system will calculate the discounted cash price. Next, choose a suitable unit of measure and a commodity code. Here, you can select the tax amount to be added to the item. Once you're done, click here to add the item to the inventory. Items added from the payment terminal will also be reflected in the portal inventory. Now, let's see the inventory and transaction flow. For this example, we'll be using True Cash Discount. Click here to add the item. You can also click here to scan and add items. You can add as many items as you want. If you wish, you can click here to provide a discount. You can provide the discount either as a percentage or a fixed amount. Now, present the device to the customer. As you can see, the card and cash price are displayed on the breakup screen. 
you also have an option to make the card price the same as the cash price. Click here to proceed with the transaction. If tip is enabled for the TPN, then this screen will appear. The customer can then provide a tip of their choice. Both the card price and the discounted price will be displayed here. The True Cash Discount program will provide a discount for cash payments. The customer can then choose their preferred mode of payment. Once they select the payment mode, complete the transaction as you normally would. Thanks for watching.